Wow. Yeah, I had to hit that guy with the bamboo. No genocide in Gaza. Oh, he wants to shoot me. No genocide allowed in Gaza. Yes. I say about what happened, I just wanted to listen. I didn't want to take part of it, but I just don't listen, agree with the, what they say and all. Because it's too much. I understand there. because the, a lot of propaganda has been given I'm about horror Abraham, stories. But, don't deny but the horror stories are not true. What was the name it of the She was a good friend of Erwin Kotler. She did a lot for the Palestinians. And what did Hamas do? They chopped her head off. I don't know who you're talking about. I don't know me too. She's in the news. And that's going to happen to you if Hamas wins too, sir. No. Not according to their intentions, not according to... They took hostages. They didn't try to kill civilians. That was their purpose. You, you don't, not, the not, whole strategy that they were following you doesn't, you know doesn't correspond to what they're accused of. You know that Hamas was created by Israel? I'm a Jewish Bundist. I will not stand to allow fascism in the Jewish community. No genocide allowed in Gaza. Not in our name. Yes. So, yeah. so just saying, I was I didn't um, not agree with, uh, with the, what they said, especially the young one, because there are a lot of propaganda from both, both in fact, from both sides, they in some way. But I know from the Zionist side, it's really too much propaganda. I don't know how it started. I don't know what, how how it's so rooted, but this is what I noticed. I know. Yeah, they've been educated like that all their lives. You know, to yeah. be afraid. To, they they're traumatized. Mm -hmm. They they're so afraid that they're willing to kill. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the disaster. I know. I know. I have a thought of you as a for the Palestinian. I, I cannot be vocal because I, as you see, I work uh, oh, next yeah. year. Oh, yeah. I'm working at the... Oh, I'm home. recording here. Okay. Okay. But just, I just want to stay very anonymous and all. Yes. Yes, you know, we have, we can't allow ourselves to be swept away with hysteria into a, supporting a genocide, no. I mean, if they want to fight, you know, against Hamas, stop bombing civilians and go fight Hamas. You know, Hamas is willing to fight and they're willing to fight, okay, let them go fight, but don't touch the civilians. Because of the uh, prisoners, 5,000 Palestinian prisoners in the West Bank. Almost 10,000. It's now it's 10,000, yeah. Since October the 7th, you know, they are another 5,000. It's the story of occupation of uh, Palestine, you know? So, yeah. Uh, like, everybody deserves to be on this land, as Jewish, as also Palestinian. Yes. They all already live together in uh, Haifa, uh, Yaffa, Akra, Akka, and Jerusalem. It's 50 50 percent, you know, population. They live together in peace. No problem. So it's possible. I wrote a book about this, The Federation of Palestinian Hebrew Nations. It's in the library here. Yeah, I'm going to read a lot about that because I need to do my research. I have a batch, I have a history bachelor, especially from the Ah. Oh, very good. Um, yeah, so it is really ironic that I, I work at the Holocaust Museum. So, ah. you know, it's also something that really interests me, no matter what. Yes. I'm a, I did a doctorate in political science okay. at the UCOM okay. on, a, on a, a critique of the nation state. Because the Zionists have adopted the European model of a nation state and are trying to apply it in the Orient. Yeah. 
impossible. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, I just want to tell you, and I see you in the real, so you're really brave to be there, especially yes. on Sundays. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So sometimes it gets very, you know. I don't know how it's because me, I'm just working. And yeah. Doing, you know, yeah. But there are a number of uh, of uh, fanatic people who came Monday night, and there was a riot here. Did you hear about that? Uh, on Monday last, uh, the, the last Monday. Yeah. I wasn't there. Uh huh. Thank God. Yeah. But I have my own view about that. Yeah. Just, uh, Very good. You have to be an independent thinker. I am, but you know, I, I just, you know, it's not thinking about sight, just uh, prioritizing in the right. Yeah. Well, I wrote the, I wrote a book in when I was living in Nablus, Palestine, in the West Bank under occupation. It's in the library here. The Federation of Palestinian and Hebrew okay. Nations. So you say you have, you have on, uh, some anti-Zionist uh, book at the library. Yes. Okay, even it could be uh, controversial. Yes. Okay. But at first they tried to, one librarian tried to to take my book out of the library. Okay, they tried to take the book from an author, a French Canadian author, like Elise de Mabel, so she's a children book author. And, uh, because, uh, yeah, there was a protest about that as well. Yes. Yeah. But when my book was was banned, they didn't come to protest with me because they consider me to be too Jewish. They, they say that I am too Jewish. Oh, the assimilated okay. Jewish people of the independent Jewish voices. Uh. I mean, if you have Jewish voice, especially what's going on, because uh, I know you have a voice as Palestinian. Yeah. As a voice. I'm with the Jewish Bund yes, exactly. chapter, which is the Alliance of Concerned Jewish Canadians. Mm -hmm. And uh, we split in 2008 okay. with the independent Jewish voices. So now they're banned from coming here, but I'm not banned. That's right, yeah. Even Montreal for Palestine, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, I can see why, because they were harassing people. They didn't know how to speak with people. So, uh, I don't care. And I, I, I criticized them, and then they expelled me. And so we split in 2008. Okay. And we've never worked together since. Yeah. But, uh, historic times now. This is incredible. This has never happened before. Yeah. I don't know what to say, but it's just, uh, if it's going to stay there, there's going to be more problems. They're continuing, yeah. Even the United States doesn't want to stop them. I mean, what is it? Is it what, why is it stop? Oh. Yeah, just wanted to chat a bit, but also really just greatly. But you know, it's Sunday, so, uh, so I just wanted to tell you some few words. It helps, yeah, after being shouted at for so long. Yeah. Whew, uh, I'm kind of anxious also, you know, especially from this context, so uh, I take some, some few steps, you know. It's very difficult for them to listen to anybody else. They're yeah. trained to be th very fanatical. in Palestine as refugee or even to be Palestinian, it depends how we see it, how, uh, how it happens. But it's just about the idea of the state here as there's people here. So Exclusive, yeah, exclusively, like yeah. It's colonization no. and I'm yeah. That. yeah. At first the Jewish refugees were welcomed uh, by the Palestinians. Yeah. Oh, well. It'll change. But there has to be a big transformation in the consciousness of the Israeli public. They are very much in support of this government. Yeah, but it's really small. But I saw a good deal of protestion, and they're really almost they're, they're really the, the bravest as the, the as the people of Gaza also. Yeah. Because we cannot forget. It. Yeah, and they refuse to leave. They refuse to leave. Even if they die, they refuse to leave. What they, where they should go? Because they're already. Yeah, even they're Egypt there. won't even allow them in. Yeah. Oh my, okay, I'll be